off to collect our friendly convict? What you got planned for him, street party? <sighs> Icing a fresh girl's cake is about my limit. I hope he didn't expect a welcome home card from me. I know it won't be easy for you seeing him around. I can handle seeing him. I just don't want to talk to him, you know. You will bump into each other. I mean it, Ken. I understand. Yeah, we'll make sure he understands and all, will you? Maddie said she doesn't want to watch it because it's got subtitles. But I told her it hasn't got subtitles. But she said she still doesn't want to come because it sounds rubbish. Well, what's it about? Vampires that work in a shop. I think they've gone mad or something. <laughs> what, repricing the biscuits? Well, I don't know, do I? I just got them free off my phone. Oh, do you know, I'm with Maddie. Um, please, we've not been out for ages together. Well, even if I wanted to, I can't, because Tim and I have got plans. Hey. Tonight? You know, date night. We're gonna stay in, bottle of wine, cuddle upon the sofa. Oh, too much information. You know, we organised it on Friday. Oh, I forgot. Oh, that's a good job I reminded you. Well, the thing is, um, I said I'd meet wrong John for a pint because his divorce papers came through. Can we do it tomorrow, babes? Oh, you can come and see the vampires with me. See, every cloud. All right, I best get off. See you later. See ya. No, oh, don't look so sad, Mum. It might not be that bad. No, it's not going on. What are you on about? Well, it's not been himself this week. <laughs> Forgetful, clumsy, late. Yeah, he has. No, he's just been cagey with me. Are you sure not being paranoid? No, there's something he's hiding. That much I'm sure of. What are you doing? Cleaning. It's not even 8.30. How long have you been up? A few hours. I couldn't sleep, so... I thought I'd do something useful. Is it Peter coming home? Eh? Hey? Well, it's today, isn't it? I forgot. I had? Hmm. Well, maybe you thought you'd forgotten, but subconsciously, really, you hadn't. Don't get all psychotic on me. Well, I just... Saying that, you know, maybe that's why you couldn't sleep. Underlying anxiety. Yeah, maybe. I mean, <clears throat> Carla says she's fine with it, but I can tell she's tense. Do you think you should take her out for the day? Yeah, good idea. Shopping, maybe. Underwear shopping, maybe. Buy some stockings. And then, you know, we could just put them over our heads and rob a bank. But sorry, sorry. No, just for okay, Steve. I'm just tired, that's all. I'm listening now, go on. You can't talk to me, no. I do. Not recently, you don't. <sighs> Darling, I just feel like you're pushing me away. Well, I'm just tired, Michelle, that's all. Let's give us a break, yeah? <sighs> Look at the state of you. Am I all right? He's knackered. He's got to go to school. I didn't ask you to make him sleep on sofa. We had to give you a bed. Could have given me yours. What, and have me and Sinead down here? If it's a problem, I'll sleep on sofa. Me and Flame joints will get used to it. I don't mind. Honest. Maybe I could borrow a camp bed. Who from? I bet Julie's got one. She used to go camping with Brian. I'm not having our Craig. He's sleeping on a dodgy mattress that they've done God knows what on. <sighs> it's not going to be for long, eh? Who knows? The human body's a mysterious thing. Yes, certainly is. I don't mind it down here. I can play my Xbox. <laughs> What's that? Just saying I'm fine on the sofa. You're a gentleman, Craig. A rare one. <laughs> uh, right, I just grabbed everything I could. Mum, did you need all this? Well, just put it in just in case. I just want him to have all his stuff with him. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the state of his room. <laughs> Why? Well, it's about the size of our box room and it was damp and there's mildew on the curtains. Oh, you won't have to go back there, cos when he comes out, he's moving back in here. Why are you, uh, why are you wearing his pyjamas? Because you know he likes things neat. Um, have you got his razor? Oh, damn it. Oh, I'm knitting his shoes. Oh. 
Aya, come in. Hi. Any news? Oh, uh, yeah, we're just going to the hospital now. Yeah, I thought you might be. Will you give him these from us? Yeah, of course we will. Oh, hey. Oh. Oh. What have you done? Mum, you left it like that. It's ruined. Oh, it were an accident. What is wrong with me? I can't do anything right. Oh, come on. Hey, you won't be bothered about pyjamas. He just wants to see his family. Hey, can I give you a lift to the hospital? Why, what do you care? Eileen? Oh, you hate Todd. You made that perfectly clear. I didn't like his behaviour, neither did you. This doesn't change anything. Oh, this changes everything. Good. We're going to see him later. Would it be hypocritical to send flowers? Why? Well, we didn't exactly get on. Yeah. No, I think it'd be nice. Things like this remind us we're all human. Except your mum. Sorry. I know she's ill, but the world don't have to revolve around her. Hmm. Why does that sound familiar? That Austin's order ready yet? Yep, all checked. That flaming time. Why are there only ten batches? Well, they reduced the order, do you remember? Oh, yeah. Have you heard back from that new company yet? What, the woman who called our bikini brief Sub High Street? I don't think she meant it in a bad way. Touchy. Peter's back today, isn't he? Uh, of course he is. There you go, one tea, locale. Ha! <laughs> Hi, locale. <laughs> I like I haven't heard that before. But it's still funny. <laughs> yeah, and if you were up and ill, you'd be high, Cal, wouldn't you? Morning. Morning. You're missing all the fun, am I? Hmm. Look what I've got for tonight. What for fair, you mean? I think you might be rushing into this. But it's not about the stories, is it? It's about the words. Yeah, no, but I've arranged something with Sally tonight. Well, cancel it. I've sent Bay to a sleepover for this. But I'm in the doghouse already. Do you want to learn to read? Do you want to keep your voice down? Are your daughter? Yeah, I do. Right, well, you go and make up with Sally and you'll be at my house at five o'clock. Welcome home. Thanks. Good to be back. Hey, Julie. Hey, Steve. Where have you forgot your squeegee? Need a good scrub. The filthy. You okay, mate? Some kind of mate, eh? No, no, no. Listen, I, I don't blame you, honestly. I understand. You just put it behind us, eh? Steve. Yeah. I'd, uh... I'm sorry about Rob. If it could have been any other way. Hey, I need to get to watch what I want to watch on telly, even if the footy's on. Too right. Come on, let's get you inside. Oh, it's Carl and I'm back. Yes. Okay, but... good. The song. Wuthering Heights is a classic. You must read more. Cal, tell her. Read more. Like you've read anything. Yeah, I've read that. What's it? Heights at school. Hmm. What happens then? All right, boys. You're right. All right, Mum. Hi, love. Dad was just about to tell us a plot of Wuthering Heights. 
it, well, it's about a woman who falls in love with a man she shouldn't. Who goes blind. That's Jane Eyre. Near enough. Wuthering Heights is the first novel to explore the dark side of love, the passion, the rebellion. Yeah, it sounds good to me. Uh, it's Jane Eyre the one with the mad wife? Yeah, the poor mad wife burnt in the attic. Oh, did someone say they got burned? How? A debatable point. Well, we should have killed it for 10 to 30 minutes, depending on the severity. Oh, when it wraps it in clean film outs, too. Well, that first aid course has really gone to your head. Yeah, no, I want to be a paramedic now. How oh, very commendable. It's only because of sexy mark. Uh, no. Okay, yeah, maybe a bit. Mm. <laughs> I've been practicing the kiss of life. No, not yet, but I'm meeting him later, so fingers crossed. Are you courting anyone at the moment, Zidane? Why are you asking me? I'm just interested. There's a few sniffing about you. <laughs> <laughs> Charming choice of free. In your dreams. Psh, just because no one wants you. Hey, she's gorgeous. Any bloke would be lucky. Ali is not looking for boyfriends at the moment, are you? Yeah, right. Can we change the subject, please? What now? We finished packing Austin's. Yep, they call me the fastest packer in the West. Who does? Sally, somebody here to see you, lovely. <laughs> what are you doing here? Brought you these. Oh. What for? To say sorry that I missed our date night. It's fine. <gasps> you didn't need to bring them in here, though. I thought it'd make a nice surprise. Oh. It is. Mm. Anyway, I'll see you later. Though I might still pop out for a pint if that's OK. Of course it is. Good. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want you thinking that I didn't love you, because I do. Oh. Oh. OK, I think she gets the message now. Bye, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> that was entertaining. Did you put him up to this? Why would I? Watch yourself, Sal. What do you mean? Flowers at work. Smacks of guilt. <laughs> exactly what my ex did about the time he started getting it on with me busy mate. Mm, it does look a bit dodgy. Hello, come in. Have you had a drink? No, sir. bringing him. Will I a cup of tea? No, um, I'll come back in half an hour. I'll let you two have some time together. Yeah, OK. Well, uh, yeah, I think we've got a surprise for him in the kitchen. I'll just go and see. You do know this is your last chance with him, don't you? Smart tie. Looking good. Mm, it's all right. Yeah. So, our school is. You made pals? Yeah, a few. Good. That's good. What's it like being out? It's weird. I mean, it's brilliant, but it's a bit weird. I've missed you. You don't have to say that. I know. I wasn't gonna. I missed you too. You'll never know how much. I've got something to show you. Come on. Here, yeah, come here. I, uh, I wrote this diary when I was in prison. I'd like you to read it. Your writing's rubbish. <laughs> well, no, yours is much better. Do you know, I got an air star for my projects on the Large Hadron Collider. They cross particles at nearly the speed of light. That is almost 186,000 miles per second. Wow, that's fast. I know. So, what happens? The particles get smashed up. I bet they do. I don't think I want to read this. No. That's OK. Maybe when I'm older. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sally, where's the number for Granger's? Uh, I left it on the desk. Well, it's not there now. Everything all right? 
Who was that, Sal? Peter? Oh, I didn't get to see. Mm. They're not going to get back together, surely. Doesn't mean he won't try. He ruined her life. Hi. She's got a weak spot as far as he's concerned. No, not after everything that's happened. Mm. Bet she takes him back. So, it appears that the sub high street look is in. They've just ordered 500 batches. 500? That's, That's 10,000 pairs of flipping knickers! <laughs> Drinks from me tonight, ladies. In this mood, she'll forgive him anything. No way. Fiver, you're on. Well, what's gone on here? That bit goes underneath. You have done first aid too. Typical dad. I'm such an idiot. You're learning a new skill. It takes practice. Just what I like to see, a table full of young, fit men. Not a child, like. I'm looking for a laborer who's got some work up at Tile Street. I need skill, but I also need muscle. Yeah, I'm up for it. Nice one. I thought you were looking for a job. No, I found one. Actually, talking of jobs, I best get back and finish on time. Going out tonight. Where are you going? Uh, just meeting some mates in town. Might see a film. Sounds good. I'll probably go in about 7.30. Get the bus. Have fun. See ya. Later, as well. Don't hold the door open, will you? Some what do you want? Can't a mother drop in on a son at work? And? And while she's here, have a freaky bow. I knew it. I'm joking. No, you weren't. Oh, lighten up, Jez. You can't be serious wearing that get-up. And I'm trying to work. Take a seat. I'll get you kebab. That Craig's a lad, isn't he? Reminds me of you. Bigger, but same colouring, cheeky grin. Sauce? Uh, yeah, please. Always think of you with a cheeky grin. Salad? Yeah. I missed you. That's 4.50. Seen this? Latest model. Doesn't look that impressive to me. Do you want chocolate? Can't you? Where is I've had one. It's like a milkshake. We used to love strawberry milkshake when you were a kid. Get one of mm. them. Mm. Hey, big man. Looking hot. We put you these. I don't suppose the police have got anywhere, have they? What do you think? What's the matter? Oh! Uh, all right, lovely. Right, he's coming, he's coming. Um, he's in pain. Can you help, please? I'll give him something for the pain. A time to change his dressings, too. Perhaps you're allowed to wait outside? Why? It could be distressing for you. I, I don't care. Just go, please. Right, well, uh... Outside. And he got an A star in his project. So I'm going to take him to the science museum. Oh, good for you. I'm so relieved it all went well. Oh, yeah, me too. Oh, how do you fancy a Chinese for tea? Do you know what I really fancy? The pub. Ooh, did he hear the word pub? Is that a good idea? I saw I'm not going to drink. Even so. Well, are you ashamed of me? No, of course not. Look, I'm free. Why should I hide? Right, well, I'm going to nip to the shop, so um, I'll see you in there. OK. Yeah, but look, why do you want to go to the pub? Why don't you stay in with your family? Because I've done nothing but stay in, Dad, for the past four months. Yeah, but there might be people there who... Oh, you think I want to see Carla, don't you? Well, I hope you don't because she's made it very clear she doesn't want to see you. I'm going to bump into her at some point. Yeah, but you don't need to seek her out. Look, I'm free. I want to celebrate me local boozer. Surely you can understand that. I want to see. I don't think it's a good idea, mate. Not yet. Afternoon, Todd. How are you feeling? Fantastic. The swelling's going down, which is good. I want to see. Please. If he wants to. Remember, it's still early days. What about this? Don't touch it. There's still a risk of infection. Will my face go back to normal? 
The injury to the tissue is quite extensive. I'm afraid it's unlikely to heal without leaving a scar. Permanently? I'm afraid so. Get out. Don't look at me. Please. So, 10,000 pairs of knickers. <laughs> ka ching ka ching <laughs> Yeah. Woo. Still cheating on you. Mm. That's exactly what I said. No, but it has lost a bit of the spark. I mean, I've been ill and he's been tired and it's just... Yeah, but I still think you're being paranoid. We'll just sprinkle a bit of spark back in then. How? I can't believe I'm having this conversation with my mum. Just, I don't know, make yourself look nice and go and seduce him oh. and... <laughs> yeah, put a frock on. Just, uh... Not the blue one. Why? What's wrong with the blue Nothing's one? Nothing's wrong with the blue one. I'll help you choose. And then I'll just go. But I thought you were going to the cinema. My dear old crumble, yeah. You're determined to make me see that film. I was Todd. Just had a text message from Jason at the hospital. They really did a number on his face. His face? Animals. Yeah, shell. Stick that behind the bar, will you? Whatever these lot want is on the factory. Oh, oh thank you. Is it OK? <laughs> Coronation Street's back in half an hour.